What is something normal that scares the shit out of you? The planets. Seeing. Real. Photos and videos of them from space just creeps me tf out. Because they're so gigantic. Big things scare me sometimes. Depending on what they are OFC. And the planets are the biggest things around lol. I would piss myself seeing them in person. Edit. Yes I know I'm standing on a planet and I know I can see the moon. I'm talking about photos or videos of planets taken from outer space lol. They look intimidating ASF. Teeth or more specifically. A medical problem with teeth, for me or anyone else. Just creep me out. Edit. This was a bad idea. Now everyone is telling me their terrible teeth story. Please kill me. Watching everyone you love get old. Confrontation. From knocking on a door to eye contact. Putting my hand into the garbage disposal to clear it. No one else allowed in the kitchen because I know they'll somehow turn it on. My wife broke a glass in the sink once and it went in the garbage disposal. Clearing broken glass I couldn't see was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Interviews. Them. Tell us about yourself. Me. Um. I. I. Still don't know how I got the job. Aging. The thought of getting to a point where I won't be able to take care of myself anymore scares the living daylights out of me. I'm much less scared of dying than I am about living my ability to do anything. Mirrors in a dark room. Like if you turn the light off in the bathroom before leaving or something. Feel like that's where the veil is thinnest there for some reason. When cockroaches starts to fly. I'm doing it right now. Learning to drive. Especially because I'm taking lessons. And after my lesson tomorrow, I'm gonna be on the highway and my lessons have a tendency to be really close together. Edit. Thank you all so much for your kind advice. It's really helped calm my nerves. The sound of someone riding a skateboard on the sidewalk behind me. I don't know why, but I freeze. Edit. Yes. I am also unnerved by shopping carts behind me in the supermarket. I always pull over and let them pass if they are following too close to my heels. Apparently I was Achilles in a past life. Unexpected knocking on my door. I have nothing to hide. All my bills are paid but for some reason I get a mild panic attack when someone knocks. Phone calls. Especially if it's not a number from my contact list. Closing my eyes when shampooing. I've seen too many horror movies to enjoy darkness. A phone call and if it's a video call. I can feel my soul leaving the body. This is gonna sound weird but seeing things in the middle of the road at night. I was once driving home one night and turn a corner to see a dog in the middle of the road. Nothing weird right, completely normal sight in a suburb. Every instinct in my body was telling me to get the fuck out of there now. When I see stuff in the middle of the road at night it doesn't matter what it is I get chills. Goosebumps. My ears stand on end and my palms sweat. It's happened with deer, dogs, people, raccoons, and even a trash can once. Can't explain it but it terrifies me. Grasshoppers. They just are too unpredictable and it terrifies me. Frogs kind of too for the same reason. But not as bad. Kinda weird but when audio starts skipping when I am playing my music, it scares me shitless. The future. And people asking me how I feel about something because usually I have no clue how I feel about something so I end up lying and just agreeing with them. It makes me feel so fake because everything I like and dislike generally based off of other people's opinion because I seriously zhu have zero clue how I actually feel about things. The only things I am certain that I do and don't like are things like food and music. Everything else even things like my hobbies I generally can't figure out if I actually like doing it or if it's because I grew up around people whose hobbies were the same as mine. Hobbies. I only just realized this too. Relationships. The ocean. I'm talking like out in the ocean. Hundreds of miles from land. Treading water. Alone. Also. Spiders. Feeling warm. I had a vacation to China when I was a child. And ever since I woke up in the hospital there. I've been very. And I mean very. Sensitive to heat. It could be 20 F outside and I'd feel warm. The worst part is. Usually when I get too hot. I have a wicked seizure and wake up on the floor with scraped knees or a bruise on my forehead. I dunno. Feeling warm terrifies me now because I just know I'm more likely to pass out. Let's each stand up and introduce ourselves and say one interesting thing about ourselves. That Lego dragon statue in the water outside the Lego store in Orlando. Florida. I recently found out that other people find it scary after discovering the Submechanophobia subreddit. Freaking walking in the dark. 
You expect me to just walk comfortably when I hear a small noise in the bushes and I can barely see. Space. Just looking up and coming to terms with how big it is and how little we know about it. Death. I am terrified of dead bodies. A being in the ground. Of corpses. The thought of being buried makes me panic. Not being buried alive. Not even the claustrophobic feelings. Because I am not claustrophobic. The idea of decaying and the clothes still being there. And the way it would look just freaks me tf out. My own mortality isn't even the scary part. It's just the corpse. I want to be cremated because I don't want anything left. I don't even care if whoever keeps the ashes. I just don't want to be around forever rotting and shriveling up and trapped in an underground box. I don't want people staring at my dead self and touching it. I have IBS so the idea of going out to eat or eating in general with people frightens me. Especially if it's breakfast or lunch. If I eat, even a little, of anything except the blandest foods I will have to urgently run to the bathroom. Possibly more than once. And it doesn't help that I'll be anxious about using the bathroom because I'm around people who will notice. And if I don't eat, people judge me for not eating saying it's unhealthy and then I have to explain my condition. In the end I just do everything I can to avoid eating with people which includes skipping any kind of invitations unless I have to and then just eating some crackers or a small salad or something really light and bland. I'm sometimes okay with dinner, not always, but sometimes my body behaves better in the evening. I can also control it by drinking and getting tipsy which usually turns off my anxiety so I'll be less likely to have an emergency. Still. I avoid it as much as I can. Talking to people I haven't already known for years. Nice try Pennywise. This seems largely irrational compared to others. But someone driving behind me. Like they don't even have to be close to me they can just be doing their own thing but I don't like it. Three things. Bears. Moths and. Let's get to know each other by saying your name and something about yourself. Fire alarms and sudden loud noises. Public speaking. I have an irrational fear that someone will break in and steal my parrot whenever I leave my house. Edit. Davy Jones is an African grey worth over $4,000. He is currently standing on my head as I write this. He is becoming more and more valuable as he is incredibly smart and already says over 50 words at 1 year old. He said his first word at 2 months and knew 14 at 6 months. I am homeschooling him and teaching him basics like colors and reading. Some people are worried this means I leave him alone a lot. But I can assure you I don't and he is one of the most spoiled birds in the world. I work from home and my husband and I very rarely leave the house together. The biggest reason why my fear is irrational is because I refuse to leave the house unless it's absolutely necessary. He has never been locked in a cage. We have one in case of emergencies but I've never been able to bear actually locking him in it. When we both leave we put him in his bedroom that we've made as safe as possible. Otherwise he is never locked up. We have vaulted ceilings and an open floor plan so he is free to fly as much as he wants. I love nothing more than hearing him do his happiness screech. As he flies through the house in excitement. We also installed a rope that goes across the loft that we run our business out of. That has 14 different toys on it that he loves to play with. I feed him fresh food. Not pellets. 3 plus times a day. Every night I usually cook a healthy dinner, which means my husband and I have limited ourselves to a parrot-friendly diet only. We share anything we make too. He is a spoiled three-year-old that can fly. We have no choice. He will land in our head and steal the food off our utensils. My main fear is that his new owner wouldn't spoil him to this degree. That he would be locked in a cage and treated like furniture. That he would have his wings trimmed and never fly again. That he wouldn't be taken to the vet if he got sick. That he would be yelled at or even hit. That he would be devastated he lost his mommy and daddy. He loves us so much and for hours every day he will just sing stuff like. I love you. I love you 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 you. I love you. You 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 you. I love Bree. I love Tyler. I love Ryan, Obi-Wan, Kuma, Boots. Our other pets. I love apples. I love you 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 you. I would never stop worrying that he is being neglected or abused, and that would continue for the rest of my life because it is possible that he could outlive me. My fear of living without him is strong. But my fear of him living without me is stronger. To those of you who are interested in stealing him, here is why that is a bad idea. 1. I have a rescue pit bull lab mix who will kill you if you attempt to enter my house. I also have a guard goose. He wears diapers. That will back him up. 2. I have an advanced security system with several cameras. I can check them whenever I want and I will get an alert if you come near my house. The police will be there in two minutes. 3. He barely steps up for me and he will never step up for a stranger. 
He is free in his bird room and will fly around. Good luck catching him because if he doesn't want to be caught. I can't even do it, he will probably bite your finger off if you manage to catch him. 4. Just because my car is gone doesn't mean I am. My husband usually leaves on his own. I wear a pistol on my hip and I know how to use it. Pictures. HTTPS. Imager. Com. Gallery. XPELDSC video of Davy talking. HTTPS. YouTube. BKFZYAWKUXZK. Don't know if this counts as normal, but mental illnesses. The fact that your own brain can turn on you and create a reality different from the rest of us scares the shit out of me.